Hello everyone. Now, this is one uh, case study of partial sector access problem for one uh, DFL user in Bangladesh. Now let's check the data error to confirm this issue. Now we can see that uh, the beginning part of LBA, the data error is accessible, okay? Now let's check the ending part or this is the middle part. Now let's try to check this middle part of data arrow and see if the data arrow is accessible a lot. Now we can see that now it's red blocks coming out. So that means from this part, all the sectors after this one, they are red they are not accessible. So how to fix this kind of partial sector access problem for the rose route? Now we go to the SA operations, edit as well as file, 35, 35, volume 3, and we note the backup. So this is the engineer's backup. And we can write no. Uh, here we need to write in SYS. We need to select this one. Write. No. Now let's check the lock window to confirm the result of the engine is to back up right. Let's check the V40. It's a 7 and I4 and Now we regenerate a retranslator. <clears throat> and then we can confirm again the data error and check the result. Because this pension drive had been worked by the user and it originally has the MCMT corrupt and also when users try, tried to read this ID and the ID information failed to be read and the user then tried to uh, regenerate the translator, but finally uh, the user got this partial sector access problem. Now we try to fix the partial sector access issue here. Sometimes if this engine is the backup is not original, so how to fix? At this time, we can try to clear this V4 and then in the DFL Seagate from repair program, there is one partial sector auto fix function here. So we can use this one, regenerate translator LM. This one is specially designed for fix this partial issue automatically. So this one is also uh, very easy. Now, 
because we have these engines to back up, now we try to write these engines to back up back to this original drive. And then we run this transmitter regeneration. And then we check if the partial issue will be fixed or not. Okay, we check the engineer's entries. It's zero. So zero, it, 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 it will be wrong. So we need to do this one again. Now we check the way for zero. Seven. Because the engineer's entries has changed from seven to zero, so we need to regenerate again by writing the engineers to back up back, otherwise the translator will be wrong, the translator will be corrupted, and the problem will not fix. So we need to repeat the process Now we check again. Now it's seven. Okay. So this really means it's fixed. Now we check the ending part directly. So three eight zero zero zero. Click OK. Click start. Now we can see that 
the ending part of data array is also accessible. That means this drive has been fixed perfectly. And we just go to the DFLC panel and go to the DDP data recovery program. And then we can get lost data back with the DFL DDP. Now we have just fixed the firmware issue using the DFL Seagate hard drive from repair program. And now we are using this DDP data recovery program to set up one new project and file extraction. Here we can see that this is the partition and here are all the lost folders and files within the folders are available. So all users need to do now are select the wanted files, folders, and then right click, right click to recover the selected files. This way users get all the